And then, of course, the debate about the wall. Beto, you know, down there in Texas, remember, he's a Texas Democrat. So mm -hmm. he's not really, you know, he, he's, he's pretty moderate. He's pretty smart in the fact that he picks those issues that he thinks resonates with his base. And the question for Beto going forward is, what's his lane? How well, is he willing to present himself? And that's not what I wanted to ask. I mean, from what you've seen and what you saw last night, if you were in his shoes, if you were looking at the field that is out there right now, would you jump in? Well, considering the fact that I've run for president, the answer is, what, what is he comfortable with? Does he apparently has the fundraising base, maybe. Uh, because remember, he was running against Ted Cruz in Texas. <clears throat> and excuse me. So the issue, the real issue is, can he maintain that fundraising base? Mm -hmm. Is he unique and what's his lane? So in other words, you have a number of people now who are kind of on the left. You know, they're Medicare for all, they're for the green plan and all this stuff and maybe, you know, wealth tax or whatever. Where does Beto put himself? Is he going to compete over there or is he going to compete a little bit more in the middle? Because remember, Will Hurd, who's the congressman who borders his district, he did not go out and support the Democrat opponent. That strikes a more moderation. So the question is, can Beto be both a moderate and yet appeal to progressives at the same time? That's what he's, I'm sure he's asking himself. And is he in for this kind of a campaign? Does his family want him to do it? Because, yeah. you know, Kate, people say, oh, you ought to just run for president. <laughs> you don't just run for president. It's very, very difficult. It takes a lot of time. It's excruciatingly hard. Uh, but at the same time, it can be an incredibly great experience. I mean, and you've run in a crowded field for, for the White House before. I mean, what do you think, is that your biggest lesson? Know what you're going to get into and that it's, it, that it's a long slog? But what well, was your biggest lesson it. in how you, how, you stand out, uh, how you stand out in, that, in a crowded field? Well, for me, what I learned in the campaign is, first of all, I won my lane. And the only person that beat me in New Hampshire was Donald Trump. And so that was a pretty good win. But when I went down to South Carolina, we didn't get any coverage. No one knew who I was in the South. So I had very little name ID. And the states were so big, I couldn't break through. Mm -hmm. But what I learned in the campaign is this. It's not about this specific policy proposal or some other. It's about the way that people feel about you. And I am convinced in an era of ever-changing economics, people want to know, do you care about me? And that's why it's important that Republicans have answers, real good answers on health care, why they have really good answers on what we're going to do about the growing gap between the rich and the poor. And the question is, how does this all finally work out? But at the, in the beginning, you got to tell people who you are and they got to kind of like you and you have to have a spark. I think Beto, from what I understand, people like him. But where yeah. does that go once he's, he's out there really competing against people who are farther to the left? Well, I'm looking at Republicans.